In 1982, Mike Illich bought the Detroit Red Wings from Bruce Norris for $8 million. They were a joke at the time. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings were a team that other players didn't want to go to, and that goes back to the mid-70s. Uh, in one of my Turning Back the Clock videos uh, that, I did, that I've did, that i done, um, I discussed how uh, Marcel Dion was traded out of Detroit. Probably better for Dion being traded out. And that one of the players traded back for Dion refused to report because he didn't want to go to Detroit, which was a common feeling at the time. Mike Illich took the Detroit Red Wings team and elevated them above the city. He elevated them above the market. The Detroit Red Wings were seen as kind of a, 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 a dead team in terms of their chances of being a contender or being any good. And Mike Illich changed that whole view league-wide. In a 17-team league, they, they couldn't get anywhere. And now we're at 31 teams, and Mike Illich's recent, recent passing has uh, left us thinking about all the wonderful things he did. Today, the Carolina Hurricanes, Tom Dundon takes over a team that many in hockey view as being one of the most likely to move, one of the, the, the debtor, debtor franchises in the league. There are a lot of fans who claim, ah, you know, this team shouldn't be there. And I'm sure there are players in the NHL who may not have Carolina at the top of their trade list. And Carolina doesn't have a lot of star players. And Carolina hasn't made the playoffs in a long time. A good owner can go a long way to fixing things. Now, having the right GM makes a big difference too. But having a, a really good owner that knows what he's doing can make a big difference. For $500 million, I would hope, well, at least the, the franchise is valued at $500 million. Uh, I would hope Tom Dundon knows what he's getting into. He has 61% share today, and he has the right to acquire the other 39%, which still belongs to Peter Carmanos, in three years' time. Uh, the franchise is guaranteed to stay in Carolina for quite a while. Uh, there's, there's no fear of them being moved. That was one of the conditions on him buying the team. One of the first things he get at, gets asked is, are you going to move them? What's he going to say? Yep. Paperwork's not the, the the ink on the paperwork's not even dry yet. Is he going to say, yeah, yeah, no, I I don't have any plans to stay here. He's going to try to make it work, and there are ways to make it work in Carolina. There's a lot of fans who don't think that it will, don't think that it can. Move them. They they're 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 a terrible team. And 40 years ago, you would have heard a lot of the same things about the Detroit Red Wings, that this was a an original six franchise, but it was in a bitter state of disrepair. The city was in the tank. And there was no point in keeping a team in Detroit. Players didn't want to go there. Well, here's Carolina, a non-traditional market that's had trouble drawing over the last few years. And there's been trouble finding excitement due to the fact that the team's been bad. Carolina Hurricanes have been bad. And there's been issues with the ticket prices, as Hurricanes fans have pointed out. For a team that hasn't achieved, they're charging a lot of money for tickets. And Carolina took the step as well of, of getting rid of free tickets and not papering the place to make it look fuller than it is. I think with the new ownership, we'll see kind of a mix. If he's smart, he'll have uh, ticket prices brought down, and then he'll have giveaways, not based on here's a bunch of free tickets, but do giveaways more towards the, the, the side of, of charity and more towards the sides of your military and more towards you know your community where you're like, hey, You've done this great thing for our community. Why don't you come out and watch a hockey game? Something like that will win over new fans. And those fans will come back again as paying ticket holders. Um, I have always believed that the, that, that the sport of hockey is the best sport. I wouldn't be here as the hockey guy if I didn't believe it was the best sport. If I actually thought the NFL was as much fun as hockey, I'd be the NFL guy. And I'm not. And this huge rack next to me is that of hockey jerseys and not football jerseys. And tomorrow, it uh, it looks like there'll be some additions to uh, to, to to this. Um, tomorrow is going to be a, a mecca jersey Christmas, but that's that's for a whole other whole other video. Um, this is good news for Carolina. This is good news for Hurricanes fans and for fans who are looking at Carolina like, oh, this is the team that should go to Quebec and this is the team that should be moved. It's not being moved anytime soon. The Carolina Hurricanes aren't going anywhere. All right. So that's that for that. Uh, all the best to the new owner. All the best to the franchise. This is a good day for them. It's a good day for its fans. And uh, that's right. I'm very, very upbeat about this. Because why not?
Carolina won a game tonight. They're still in shouting distance of a playoff spot, and it's mid-January. It's a good time to be a Hurricanes fan. So, that being said, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. I try to report on every team in the league, and I'll do a report on the SPHL soon. I promise. I know I've been, been negligent with the SPHL. I'm well aware of that, and I'm very, very apologetic. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re remedy that very, very soon. Uh, I've been trying to get some, some patron requests out of the way while I can. Um, but hey, um, while that's going on, I, I will definitely get on doing some research on what's going on in the SPC, SPHL, Southern Pro Hockey League. Thank you very much for watching. You guys being out there makes it worth being in here. And I'll talk to you again soon.